The city of Chicago wants to grow. In order to grow, Chicago needs to make decisions on how to make enough buildings to make sure everyone can live in Chicago. They also want to attract businesses by keeping taxes low. The city needs cheap and easy materials because they need to build fast to meet the population they are receiving. This easy and cheap material is wool. The city of Chicago's desire to build quickly and attract businesses causes them to make decisions that led to the Great Chicago Fire, 1871. The fire destroyed about one third of the city and killed roughly 300 people. This horrible event in U.S. history was the result of weak construction, lack of building codes, and poor emergency response. Out of this tragedy, Chicago will rebuild and improve and influence many laws for the safe growth of dozens of cities throughout the future. In order to build quickly to support the growing population, Chicago made their city very flammable. All the houses, sidewalks, and roads are made out of wood. There were miles and miles of wood sidewalks and roads. The city of Chicago is faced with the debate of how to build quickly and efficiently so they can attract people and businesses. The decisions that Chicago has to make is how they can make sure the city can be safe and fit everyone in the city. The problem with that is that stone, terracotta, and masonry are all expensive so not everyone can afford them. While wood is cheap and easy to build with but is highly flammable. Additionally, Chicago Fire Department is asking for resources such as fireboats, more fire hydrants, and more firefighters. The city is turning down the department because they want their taxes to stay low to attract businesses. The firefighters want to keep the city safe, but they can't do it without the right resources. This means that the fire department couldn't be as strong as they could be, which means that they won't be able to, to protect the growing city as well as they could. Even though Chicago had a population of more than 300,000 people, the fire department had only 193 P firefighters and 17 horse-drawn fire engines. On top of not having enough firefighters and resources, the fire department had been asking the city of Chicago to change how buildings were built for years. They asked not to build buildings close together and to stop using wooden shingles and tar on the roofs. When adding close wooden buildings, very dry weather, and a small fire department, that meant the firefighters were constantly fighting fires. In the week leading up to the Great Chicago Fire, the fire department had fought at least 20 fires already. The night before the Great Chicago Fire, there was one particular bad fire that lasted through the night. This made the fire department tired and may be the reason why the watchman who first spotted the initial fire called in the wrong location of the fire, causing the fire department a delay on getting to the right location. The Great Chicago Fire of 1871 was so big that it took two rivers. The fire burned over 30 hours and destroyed most of the city. The Great Chicago Fire left over 100,000 people homeless. One out of every three citizens had lost everything. This event forced the city to rebuild and to think about changes to make it more safe. After the Chicago Fire, the city realized that changes needed to be made as they rebuilt the city. One of these changes included the use of fireproof materials like stone, masonry, and motor. The city knew that this would cost more money, but, but at the same time, they knew that it would be more safer. The city also found new materials such as brick, limestone, marble, steel, and terracotta tile that was used. Also, the city removed wooden buildings from the downtown area. After 1876, they finally made steel fire exits for the buildings that were residential with three or more floors. The city also made wider streets and common walls between buildings needed to be fireproof. The city reorganized the fire department by hiring over 300 watchmen to police the streets in case of a fire. The city of Chicago also brought in New York's fire chief, Alexander Schell, to look over and make recommendations to the city. The city also formed the Citizens Association of Chicago, a group of businesses and professional men to make changes to support the fire protection. The result for all of these changes led to an increase in the survival rate of buildings and people for the future.